Hello YouTube, B3, you're back another kicking action figure review. This is one I've been wanting to do for a while, but I had to actually find it. Uh, and I finally did. It is the Power Rangers Mega Collection Walmart Red Ranger vs. Poissandra Good vs. Evil Power Rangers Dino Supercharged 2-Pack. Whew, mouthful. But uh, yeah, so they've been doing these cool 2-Packs at Walmart to kind of help you get some of the older figures that you missed out on or to get some of the newer figures as well because they're Ninja Steel ones. But it's also helpful to help you get some older things like this Red Ranger, which isn't terribly old. Same goes for the Robo Knight, who you'll see later. But uh, Poissandra here. Now, if you guys follow my reviews, I don't expect you to. Just watch the ones that the figures are interested in. But if you follow my reviews... You may have noticed I was a little pissed we weren't getting a figure of her in Dino Charge. We got so many villains. We got all the main villains. We got uh, her little bestie, Lekru. We got, we got freaking, we got goddamn everyone. <laughs> Wrench, Fury, everyone. Sorry, I'm getting the names confused on everyone because I watched the Sentai first. And then I watched the, um... American version, the Power Rangers version. But I was so pissed we didn't get a figure of her. But now we have one in this exclusive two-pack. Now we can finally get her. Oh, and I'm so happy. I'm, like, so happy. She was fun in the Power Rangers show, but she was... Oh, she was awesome in the, uh... in the Sentai. Zudin Sentai Kyuujer. I highly recommend you watch it. She was just absolutely adorable. Fucked Blue Ranger. That's pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to show you the the packaging here. You know, you got images of them on the front. Good versus evil. A collection. Pictures of them on the side. Illegal stuff on the bottom. On the back, you got uh, product images. Shows the other ones. I got this one. I won't be picking this one up, even though it'd be cool to have. And I probably won't get this one either. I do want this Samurai Ranger, but I have that villain already is the thing. So what you going to do, huh? Plus, I already got... Two of this fool, I don't really need him. I have the movie version, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's that. Pretty cool. You know, top, window, side, etc. But yeah, let's bust these two out of packaging and see what's up. And here we have our two-pack out of, well, the pack. Uh, Red Ranger and Poissandra. Now, the Red Ranger, honestly, I already have him. Uh, I got the single version when it came out. I don't need this figure. I'm probably just going to sell it. To be completely honest with you, I'm just going to sell this guy. Uh, worth it for just her, though. I'm so happy to have the character in my collection. And uh, she's a better figure than you'd think. She's a better figure than you'd think. Uh, so first up, we're just going to tackle the ranger. It, if you have a male Dino Charge ranger, it's exactly what you would expect. Side to side on the head, articulation wise, you got the shoulder pad that comes up and down, up and down on the arms, forward and back. You got an elbow bend, gauntlet swivel, you know, nothing on the torso or waist, but you do have forward and back on the legs. You got real good splits here on the legs. Uh, you got a single knee bend and a boot swivel. And he's got his regular snot colored weapons. I really wish this one was yellow, but what are you going to do? This one's actually fine, this color to be honest with you. But, um, you know, these are the weapons this first single-carded one came out with, so that's fine. Once again, uh, if you want, the blaster can... Oops, what am I doing here? The blaster can peg into his side. So that's that. I don't really care to do that. I'm not going to display him anyways, because I already have one displayed holding these weapons. So you know what's up. But uh, yeah, so that's that for him. Detail and paint's all pretty good. You know, looks clean and stuff to me. Uh, could use some more paint on the back maybe. I don't know. I think it looks fine actually. I think it looks fine. But you know, $10 figure. $20 two-pack, but $10 figure. And then we have her. She's actually better than I expected. Uh, I would almost ex kind of expected her to just be a solid piece of plastic. But they put thought into her. They really did. She has side-to-side -side on the head. She can actually go 360, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, no ab or waist, but none of the other figures get it, so I said should, 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 should she. Uh, arms come forward like that, but they don't have elbow bends or anything, but they made an effort to sculpt her hands and stuff like this, because that's a pose she does like a hundred times in the shows. Ta-da! A pose like that. So it's actually perfect for posing her. Even though her arms aren't well articulated, they go directly into one of her signature poses. Very fun. Uh, and you can have her like, ta-da! Lots of ta-da poses. Uh, and the legs move more than you think they would. In and out, really far, forward and back. Lots of my complaints on villain figures is no knee bend, but look what she has. She has a knee bend, and as you saw earlier, she can stand just fine despite having high heels and limited articulation. I mean, look, arms out, I didn't even have to fiddle with her or anything. Just stood right up in the pose that she was just randomly thrown in. Totally worth the money on her. Totally worth it. Uh, I don't care that we had to wait till Dino Charge and Supercharge were off the air to get her. She was worth it. Her coloration is good. She has uh, as much color as you would expect on a figure of this uh, quality and price range and stuff. The face is actually painted very well. You know, like she's a cool little figure. And you got her big hearts here on her back. I'm so happy to have her in my collection. Maybe she's a little small, but... We'll let you decide that for yourselves in the size comparisons. I normally don't show these off first, but here they are with some villain figures. We have a Ninja Steel villain here on the left, Skull Gator, very cool. And here on the right, another villain, Sledge. Yeah, that would be her fiancé uh, and the main villain for the first season. Uh, maybe a little bit of the second season. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh... <laughs> on the right here. Very fun, very cool. So the Ninja Steel Action Hero series, the Dino Charge, and it was reissued for Super Dino Charge. And we also have some support characters in here. On the left we have Alpha 5 from the Power Rangers 2017 Movie Action Hero series, and on the right the Plesio Charge Megazord from the Power Rangers Dino Charge Dino Super Charge Action Hero series. And lastly here they are with some Power Rangers, two that don't really want to stand because one has loose joints and one has tiny weird feet. But, uh, here on the left we have Robo Knight from another two-pack, one that came out alongside them. I actually picked both of these up at the same time. But, uh, he was also in the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Action Hero Series, Legendary Action Hero Series or whatever. And then here on the right, another Ninja Steel. It is the Training Mode Pink Ranger, uh, just to have another lady in the bunch. So my final thoughts on the Bandai America Power Rangers Action Hero Series Mega Collection, Good vs. Evil, Red Ranger vs. Poissandra, Power Rangers, Dino Supercharged 2-Pack. <sighs> Very happy to have it. If you missed out on the Red Ranger, now is the perfect time uh, to get it. If this 2 pack still on shelves by the time I can get this review up. Horrible internet. But uh, if you want her, this is the only way to get it. This is the only way to get her. Uh... God, I'm happy to have her in my collection. I was so excited when I saw this on the shelf at Walmart. I almost didn't go to Walmart, too. I was like, nah, I don't need to go to Walmart. And then I was like, I'll just screw it. I'll swing by. Ooh, almost missed out. Almost missed out. But I'm very happy to have her. I would be happy to have him. He's a fun figure. He's not a bad figure at all. The reason I'm just not super hyped about him or anything is because I literally already have him. If they would have put the... um. Dino Steel version of him in here, or maybe like a Dino um, Drive, Dino Super Drive version of him in here. I would keep that, because I don't have those versions. The only ones I have are the one that comes with the cycle, this one, times two, and also his uh, Battleizer, his Super T-Rex mode or whatever. So there are two forms of him I don't even have. Uh, three, actually. Three forms of him I don't even have, so... If it would have been one of those, I would have been fine, but it was not, alas. So that's it. Uh, do I recommend getting it? Yeah, especially if you don't have the Red Ranger. If you just want her, it's the only way. You gotta get the Red Ranger with her or get her individual on eBay. Sorry about the flies. Uh, there are horses staying in the barn and horses don't eat the same mineral that the cows do that kills flies <laughs> when they eat the poo. So there's a lot more flies than usual. Also, we have calves that don't eat that mineral because they're still, um, yeah, it's whatever. But, uh, 
yeah, that's it. So thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But that is it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.